Hello and welcome to Embedded Room, a place where we learn about embedded technologies. In this video, I will present what you need to install in order to start in embedded systems for free. I like this uh, approach where you install each tool by itself and you control each tool and you learn what uh, does for you. So, um, first thing that we need to install is the GNU compile collection for ARM. Make sure that the compiler you are downloading was built for ARM Cortex-M, among others. So what we need to do is to download the GCC cross compiler from this link. I already have this link opened here. So you go to this page and download it from here. Then you download the zip file in your favorite location, unzip it, and you go to environment variables and add um, the pet to bean to pet variable. After that, you need to open a CMD window anywhere and try to see if your installation um, is successful by typing the following command. So you should have something like this. minus minus version and then it will output your version. Next we will eventually need the GNU make uh, for uh, this on Windows. Um, we can install the Ming W32 and put uh, the same um, approach the pet to Ming uh, W32 make except found in some build folder um, of Ming W32 in the Windows Pet environment variables. Next thing, uh, we need uh, an open um, on chip debugger. This one um, we need to um, download it from this link. So this tool is uh, needed in order to be able to um, debug our code. So we need to go to this link, I already opened here, uh, go to this link and download the last version for you, which is uh, available. Uh, same, we will open a window after we add the path to the bin and try uh, to see the version if it's recognized. So open OCD minus minus version yeah. so this is our tool good now next tool that we need to install is of course if we want and it's optionally of course but I highly recommend to use a visual code we use the text editor for code editing purpose only. Build and debug will be done in command window for in the beginning. So download the Visual Studio code from here. Alternatively, you can use any other text editor, even Notepad. So go at this page and download the Visual Studio code for you. Good. Next will be STM32 ST Link Utility Flash Programmer. It's a full featured software interface for programming STM32 microcontrollers. We can download this from ST website at the next address. We need to install the software. It's not mandatory to have it, but you will find it very useful. So, go at this page and download it from here the last version which is available for you. Next, a serial terminal. Among the examples that um, will be presented, we will need a later um, 
a serial terminal for testing the correctness of the USART driver firmware that we will uh, develop uh, and after that for debugging purposes. You can use any working uh, serial terminal uh, but uh, for this we can start with uh, TerraTerm which can be downloaded uh, from this address. So again go to this address and download the last version for you. Then another tool which is uh, helpful and it's uh, it's good to, to start uh, um, with this one to use Doxygen to generate documentation from comments. In order to have Doxygen on your machine download the zip binaries from Windows for Windows at the next address. Extract the archive and add its path to the path environment variables. You should now be able to run the command doxygen minus v. So go to this link, download it from here and then you should be able to run doxygen minus v and um, display your current version. So this is a brief introduction on minimum toolchain that you need to start working in embedded systems. Of course um, you can add more tools but I think it's sufficient to start and then concentrate on some other things like core um, features and how um, you should uh, address these embedded systems and uh, microcontrollers features. This will be addressed in the future, but for now, um, thank you very much. Bye.